What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today we're going to be doing a quick little, having a quick little chat even, about um, Michael Obafemi, his, um, what's the opposite of inclusion? Declusion? Exclusion. Exclusion. From the Irish squad. Uh, he's obviously in the under 21 uh, squad for the upcoming games um, and he didn't seem best pleased about it. It'll probably lead into a bit of a debate about the strikers that we did bring uh, or have in the squad even so uh, Sokka I know you feel a little bit strongly about uh, Obafemi's tweets uh, what well, was the tweet just in case anyone didn't see it was what was it interesting I'm sure you put it up on screen yeah, that, that morning yeah, it was interesting yeah, I that morning he tweeted disgrace wasn't it Finish. no no he was like he said very interesting or something like that like. no before he, he did delete a tweet though. he deleted a disgrace oh, yeah initially yeah. I think he, I'm pretty sure he did uh, tweeted uh, disgrace and then deleted it a few minutes later and then he tweeted interesting dot 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 so I think that was a totally the wrong way to go about it. Um, a little bit immature, pretty unprofessional. Um, if you're disappointed we're not going in the squad, have a chat with Stephen Kenny. Um, talk to him about what he needs to do to get into the senior squad. Um, Kenny wants the under-21s to qualify for their first ever European Championship, so um, he might think old family be better suited to that just for the next... Uh, year or so um yeah i thought it was really unprofessional um not the right right way to go about it at all and uh if anything reinforces kenny's view that he's not ready for the senior team yet and um, that um he's possibly still a little bit immature Um he had a similar situation with Ra ralph hassenhutl um last november where uh some things off the pitch prompted hassenhutl to comment about Obafemi he said that he has a lack of professionalism in his whole life um, and he has to improve on that so that was last November and we are in August now so 10 11 months 10 months later um, hasn't, seen, you, hasn't seen too much you could argue that he hasn't kind of learned much from um, but yeah I was pretty disappointed um, with that I'd be, I'd be inclined to look at it from Obafemi's side I mean I think it's it's a bit of a joke that he wasn't in the squad I mean, I think his logic was that he plays in a front two or something. Is yeah. that what Kenny said? He plays, in a, he plays in a front two normally. He kind of wouldn't really see what they're going to have to do. But, I mean, Troy Parrott doesn't play at all. So. Do you know what I found it was interesting as well? Is that, okay, the reason it's a tactical decision that Obafemi's not going because of the team he plays in, where Shane Long plays in the, the exact, exact same, same team. team yeah. mm. so it doesn't and make and sense with Goldrick like, as well. They, they play with two up front yeah. as well in Sheffield. Like, so, yeah, then it comes I mean, down to experience. I, think, I, think, I just think it's much. ludicrous to think that he didn't tell him. It comes down to experience then. Why is Obafemi not getting a Parrot? You know, yeah. Yeah. Play, so. yeah, yeah, but with, uh, I can't, with I can't Long believe, and Goldrick. I, I don't understand how, because he's had him at 21s, he knows him, he knows where he is. How can he have not told him in advance? Like if he found out from that announcement, I think that's a bit. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense yeah, to me. Yeah, you, know, you can't tell. You can't tell every single player they're not. Gonna, every single player that's up for it, the, the Irish squad that they're not making it. But like, it's very strange that he wouldn't have said it to him in advance, especially if he yeah. knew he was going to be going to the twenty ones. Like Premier League striker made twenty five exactly. appearances last season, yeah. and he got a goal against goals. United there at yeah. the end of the season. He's seen Chelsea like he as well. To Chelsea, so yeah, and some of the goals he's gotten in friendlies is are unbelievable. I definitely yeah. think. Obafemi Obafemi's been severely hard done by I think so because he had a very good end to the season he's been in the 21s a while he has senior he's played senior football for Ireland before yeah why like for me why I'm why I'm baffled is Troy Parrott yeah that, that's it just doesn't just make sense, sense. And like, Parrott, Parrott even for the 21s he's only played like a couple of games for now yeah. I'm pretty sure like because yeah. he was in the with the 19s or whatever yeah. and I, I just can't understand how it happened and then You'd imagine that, like Kenny spoke to him after that because he wants to keep him in, like in the picture and stuff. Yeah, and he's okay. actually he still is going to the twenty one. I think you have to like, because I think Jim Crawford must have talked to him about being in the twenty one side mm. because you have to yeah. get confirmation from each player about being yeah. in the squad. So he obviously accepted the call to the under twenty ones eventually. So, so yeah, um, so maybe there is some kind of like I don't know deal. Or At the end of the day, maybe the tweet wasn't right, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty clear to see like that he he wasn't happy and. I don't really blame him. Uh, I think maybe the tweet is a little bit childish. Maybe mm. it should have been behind closed doors and stuff. But I don't know. You, I mean, you said a point before about like it shows his passion and stuff. Yeah, as, as we've ha we've struggled with players, Declan Rice, Jack Grealish come to mind that don't want to play for Ireland. And in this situation, we see a player who desperately wants to play for his country, and I'd always rather prefer to see that. He's bitterly disappointed to miss out playing for his for his country. Mm. He really wants to pull on the green jersey, and I'll always uh, like. Like like this kind of like to see that a bit more obviously well, obviously let's see it more than 
players like Rice and Grealish and stuff. But and even players like James McCarthy. Like, 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 I, I like James McCarthy mm. a lot, but like uh, there was a while there where he like just really wasn't sure he wants to play. And now mm. he's back in the picture now. And he got a knock for Palace, but I don't know how serious it really was. I yeah. think he, he's travelling, but. I don't know, like players like that. Like it, it, it used to be a situation where we're going hunting for players. Like even like we're talking about trying to get Nathan Redmond involved, but now there's players that actually want to play and are yeah. good enough and they're Premier League players. And he's leaving them out for like Troy Bar. Obviously, unbelievably bright future. Like I mean, he's at Spurs and could everything. Be, could be a generational talent. Exactly, but at the same time, he's not ready yet. And no. like Mourinho knows that, and like everyone knows that. And that's where he's gone out on long to Millwall to prove mm. himself and. Hopefully it does work out for him, but for the and senior squad, it doesn't make sense to me. In terms of uh, this, it does show that I remember for a year, for so many years now, we've been bringing calling up like dodgy strikers for so long. So, uh, the one positive you can t- take from it is that we are in a position where we're starting to actually leave choice, out good, choice, good players and good strikers aren't making the gr- aren't making the squad. So I think that's a positive as well. You might remember like Simon Cox, Connor Salmon over the years, even going back yeah. further like Stephen Elliott and stuff, and players that were decent maybe in the championship and stuff but they shouldn't be anywhere near an international stage and now looking at these players coming through who have the potential to play in the Premier League for for years and, and be nearly 15-20 yeah. goals another, another thing I find interesting is the fact that Parrot is now out of the squad with an injury and uh, still Abba Femi didn't get called up you yeah. brought in yeah, Sean, like, Sean McGuire yeah. instead what? which, which I, think that's that's master, I, think, I think it must be to do with the 21s, 21s yeah. but it is also it could have been a conversation where he wasn't happy with the tweet maybe mm-hmm. and, he's, and he's making a point proving a yeah. point you can't just yeah. go and say it's something like that, that and call attention yeah. to it maybe yeah. that is the conversation they had and it's clear. said listen you, maybe you need to mature or something maybe, like that yeah. but it is, it is interesting his other family definitely deserves a spot more both Parra and Maguire it's a hard decision um, to it does look like that uh, oh, Obafemi, Obafemi found out possibly yeah. it does look like Obafemi found out um, that morning uh, that they didn't possibly have a chat beforehand they hopefully had a chat um after the squad came out to kind of say what they needed to say um, I'd agree that he was probably a little bit hard done by uh, getting not getting included over Ida the, the likes of Parrot as well um, still my feeling would be that even if he scored 20 Premier League goals uh, last season if you're not included in the squad uh, go about it the right way don't put out a tweet don't uh, in Stephen Kenny's first competitive week as manager don't yeah. piss him off and do something like that. There's thing with Kenny as well, like because he, he's hasn't managed like these like these are Premier League players, you know. Like if it if things start going wrong for him in the first week, it'd be questioned straight away. So the same thing that happened with Brian Kerr and stuff, and I feel like undermining him and stuff is just kind of yeah. selfish towards the country and stuff, and and the project that we're, that we're trying to have and stuff like yeah. that. And he's but, trying to install some sort of discipline yeah, as well. Exactly. To yeah. Show yeah. And, and like if, if he loses a game and in, in these Nations League or something, and people start questioning and stuff, and then you have the likes of the, the players will start turning and stuff because it yeah. does happen. It happens so yeah. often, like you see in so many clubs, like mm. especially young young have so little time as an international squad. Uh, Kenny only has two days of training with them before the Bulgaria game. Um, so it's really important for every player to put their best best foot forward and sh- show what they have. Um, so hopefully Obafemi hasn't kind of shot himself in the foot there. If he does really well with the twenty ones, um, like what, what age is he? Nineteen, twenty. 20, 20. I think 20. Uh, like he he's hopefully 10, 12 years of senior football, international football left. Um, just I, I thought it was the totally wrong way to go about that. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below um, what you think of the situation. It is a bit of a weird one. You can kind of see it from both sides, to be fair. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like on it down below. Make sure to subscribe as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in a bit.